Thank you, Rush Chance, for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out the link in the description and use code SWALES to get 50 cents to use on their site. Our story begins with me starting fresh on a server a week late to the wipe. I killed both of them? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. I need to build a base. Oh. Okay, I think I'm just gonna build something to store this for now. Place. Oh, I have no wood. Okay. I have voices on too, and I didn't hear him say anything. Alright, already a metal door, stone base. People actually have to use explosives to hit me already. Boom. Oh. What the heck? This guy's got to look close. Oh, it's actually light night. I'm going out then. What the heck? I was still in need of a tier 1 workbench, so I decided to go on a bit of a scrap run. Now that I had a tier 1 down, I crafted a double barrel and then went out for a roam. Fuck! No! 
After that defeat, I quickly crafted another double barrel. I then followed the sounds of some gunshots. I'm down, just kill me. Made it all back. I then heard another gunfight, so naturally, I ran over to investigate. It's over here. Grab what I can and ditch. Spaz? Alright, good enough for me. GG fellas. While out roaming, I noticed an active compound. I decided I would try to steal from their large furnace. The robbery. After banking the loot from the compound, I came back and noticed the group had started flame arrow raiding. Fancy raid. Are they flame arrowing? I then went back to roaming my area. Oh, nice. Someone went on a grind run. I bet the same guy. Yep. Hey, another gun. Ooh. Yeah, that DD went to fucking Narnia. Dude, what? Okay, I need to kill this guy. Oh, all my shit died. 
While I was out on a peaceful horse ride, I ended up disturbing an active base. doors. I then came back to retrieve my horse, but I ended up having a brief conversation with them. <laughs> LMAO, nice Revy. You like it? I did. I now had a raid target, but unfortunately, I was nowhere near ready to raid. Later that night, I would find something that would speed this process up quite a bit. Mordecai. Oh. Seven springs. I did find a hammer really quick. Nice. I'll just be taking this. I then remembered I had a lot of flame arrows from the guys from the compound. So I decided to do a small flame arrow raid in hopes of getting some more scrap. Oh, revolver. Here. Metal. At this point, I noticed that people weren't really doing small oil rig. Taking oil would be a great way of getting better gear and explosives, but to do so, I would need to get a kayak BP and the cards so I could activate the crate. So I did just that. After crafting a SAR and a kayak, I was ready to take on the oil rig. Flamethrower! Fog. I needed one of those. Ooh. C4. I was running out of room in my 2x1, so I decided to build a new base that I could expand off of. After moving all the loot into the new base, I then took my newly acquired flamethrower and went on a couple raids.
one's open. Okay. A little bit. Oh shit, there's actually stuff in here. Okay. Oh nice, a lot of crude. Metal frags. Alright, I'll come back with more fuel. 122 crude, I'll cook that up and then I'll get into the next room. After all the flame raids and a couple grind runs, I was able to craft a tier 3 workbench so I could start crafting explosive ammo. But before doing the raid, I noticed a nearby airdrop. Oh, airdrop. Probably should have just sard that guy. It would have killed him a lot easier, but whatever. I'm a bit tired. I already had one C4 from oil rig, so I crafted just a bit of explosive ammo and then headed to the raid. The mother load. What's in here? Not bad, not bad. Okay. Oh my god, these guys are farmers. Custom. Some jackhammers, some chainsaws. Okay, let's. Uh... Unfortunately, I didn't really play much after this point, so this is where our story ends. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.